Hello guys. Welcome to this session. How are you all? I hope get customized ad plans that work with your life. I hope everybody is studying well and doing everything properly. Feeling happy. Yeah. Everything is ready. Guys, today we have the second model test for Karnataka Assistant Professor. Are you ready? Hello, everybody. Are you ready for the first question? People have people are yet still joining. People have not come yet. Yes. So today it is KEA Assistant Professor Crash Course and Model Test. Listen guys, first question. Ta -da -dang. This poet employed carpe diem theme. So he must be a metaphysical poet. Carpe diem theme of Horace and Catullus. He was a cavalier as well as a metaphysical poet. He wrote Corinna's going a maying. Who is this poet? Corinna's going a maying. He was both a cavalier and a metaphysical poet. Carpe diem theme. Bolo everyone. Yes. It is Robert Herrick. Remember Robert Herrick and Thomas Carew. I have told you many times. Robert Herrick and Thomas Carew were both metaphysical poets as well as cavalier poets. Hannah. Then Robert Herrick. What are the other works of Robert Herrick? Hesperides. Robert Herrick has wrote Hesperides. Noble Numbers. He has written many poems like To The Violets. It is, uh, he is one of the poets who has, not To The Violets. He is one of the poets who has lived a long life. Robert Herrick has lived a long life. And uh, he lived up to the age of 83. It is, he was uh, unmarried. Hena. Now. Who wrote the Temple of Fame? The Temple of Fame. Consisting of 524 lines in the form of a dream vision. Remember, Temple of Fame is based on House of Fame by Chaucer. Temple of Fame is based on to daffodils. Yeah. Uh, House of Fame by Chaucer. Temple of Fame consisting of a dream vision. It is Alexander Pope. Yes, Robert Herrick also wrote to the virgins to make much of time. To the virgins to make much of time. Uh, it is also called Gather Ye Rosebuds While Ye May. Remember, Temple of Glass is modeled on House of Fame by Langland. Temple of Fame is by Alexander Pope. Tem Temple of Glass is by Langland, based on House of Fame. Temple of Fame is by Alexander Pope. It is in the form of a dream vision. Remember, tem uh, House of Fame is modeled on Dante's Divine Comedy. House of Fame is modeled on Divine Comedy. Ignatius' Conclave, the anti-Catholic polemic was written by Ignatius' Conclave is a prose work. 
It is an anti-Catholic polemic. Who wrote it? Tell me. Ignatius is conclave and pseudo martyr. These are the two anti-Catholic polemics by Dryden. Sorry, Dunn. Dunn. John Dunn. Sorry, Dunn. Remember, John Dunn converted from Catholicism to Anglicanism. After he became an Anglican priest, he wrote the anti-Catholic polemic Ignatius' Conclave. Also, he wrote Pseudo Martyr. Will you remember? John Dunn. How many holy sonnets did John Dunn, John Dunn write? John Dunn wrote 19 holy sonnets. Holy sonnets. Also called Divine Meditations. Next question. For which poem was Tennyson awarded the Chancellor's Gold Medal at Cambridge? For which poem was Tennyson awarded the Chancellor's Gold Medal? It is Timbuktu. It is set in Africa. Timbuktu is set in Africa. Timbuktu was originally called Armageddon. Originally set in Africa. Will you remember? Timbuktu was written when Tennyson was only 16 years old. Tennyson was only 16 years old at that time. It is Africa and it became popular later because... Uh, Europeans were interested in Africa at that time. Europeans were interested in Africa at that time. What is the... I will increase the size. What is the correct chronological order of the following works? Ode on Solitude. Devotions upon Emergent Occasions. Paradise Regained. Upon the circumcision. Ode on solitude is by, who is by whom? Bolo who wrote Ode on solitude? Ode on solitude. Alexander Pope, isn't it? Ode on solitude. Alexander Pope, who wrote devotions upon emergent occasions? It is by John Dunn, henna. So, if this is by Pope and this is by Dunn, then Dunn's poem should come first. Paradise Regained is by Milton. Henna, guys? Later work of Milton. Upon the circumcision is a early poem of Milton. So, what is the answer? It is 2, 4, 3, 1. First done. Then early poem of Milton. Then later poem of Milton. Then Alexander Pope. 2431. Okay. 2431. Which novel by Daniel Defoe talks about the story of a character stolen from a well? The story of a character stolen from a well. To do family. It is not well. Kuanehiye. Stolen from a well. To do. Well to do family. A boy is stolen from a well to do family as a child. Raised by gypsies. He later becomes a captain. An Englishman stolen from a good family, wealthy family. Uh, he is raised by gypsies. It is, it is Captain Singleton. He is Stolen from a well-to-do family. 
stolen by gypsies and he becomes a captain then at the beginning of wuthering heights who has just returned in 1801 uh, from a visit to his landlord and announces his arrival at thrush cross ranch all of you know this who comes after a visit to his landlord and announces his visit at thrush cross ranch it is Mr. Lockwood, the tenant. Mr. Lockwood goes to Thrushcross, uh, to Wuthering Heights, sees his landlord Heathcliff, and uh, Heathcliff is not very friendly. Isn't it, guys? That is uh, the opening of Wuthering Heights. And Lockwood is staying in the uh, bedroom upstairs. It is like a room within a room. Isn't it guys? Who of the following is one of the four wheels of the English novel? As uh, Sainsbury called them. Who of the following is one of the four wheels? Who are the four wheels? The four wheels are Richardson, Fielding, Smollett and Stern. Richardson, Fielding, Smollett and Stern. So, Richardson. Sarah Fielding, nahi, Henry Fielding. So, Samuel Richardson is uh, one of the four wheels. George Sainsbury called them four wheels. The subtitle of Frankenstein is Prometheus Bound, Prometheus Unbound, The Modern Prometheus, Prometheus Redefined. Subtitle of Frankenstein Bolo, it is the modern Prometheus. What is the relation between Prometheus and Frankenstein? Both of them are stretching the boundaries of knowledge. Frank and Victor Frankenstein and Prometheus, both of them stretched the boundaries of knowledge. Mod uh, Frankenstein, the modern Prometheus, was in the year, published in the year 1818. Isn't it? 1818. Now, identify the event from the following, uh, which occurs last in Anna Karenina. Karenin refuses to divorce Anna. Anna reveals she is pregnant to Ronsky and Karenin. Kitty turns down Levin's proposal. Kitty gives birth to a boy, Dimitri. You will have to read like this, okay? Well, the, the entire book. At the end also, Karenin refuses to divorce Anna. At the end also, Karenin refuses to divorce Anna. Will you remember? You should remember like that. The, uh, the chronology of the events that happen. Through which symbol Flaubert represents the useless, non-productive, ornamental character of bourgeois taste. As well as the monotony of life that traps Emma in his novel, Madame Bowery. What is the symbol? The symbol that Flaubert represents to use the non-productive ornamental character of bourgeois taste. What is the symbol in Madame Bowery Bolo? Lathe it is. What is lathe? Lathe is a machine that you use for shaping wood, metal, etc. You know, a rotating part will be there. So Flaubert in Madame Bovary uses the symbol of the lathe to show the non-productive ornamental character of bourgeois taste. KEA students, please based on this read again. Arrange the following details in chronological order. As seen in Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. Jean Valjean achieved a title 
for his misanthropic nature. Beggar who gives alms. Philanthropic, sorry, misanthropic, bol rahi hu. John Wall Jean receives a title for his philanthropic nature. He is very kind to everybody. Beggar who gives alms. Jean Valjean steals Mir Bishop Muriel's silverware. Fauchelevin tells the nuns of Petit Picpus convent that Jean Valjean is his brother, Ultimus. Jean Valjean pays Trinadier 1,500 francs for corset. You don't have to think too much. Obviously, second one comes first. Jean Valjean steals Bishop Muriel silverware. That comes first for sure. That is first. Then Jean Valjean prays, uh, pays the Trinadier 1,500 francs. He gets corset. That is also early. So 1, 4. These are early. 1, 4, uh, 2, 4. Sorry. 2, two 4, 1, 3. That is the option. Very early in Le Miserab, uh, Jean Valjean uh, steals Bishop Muriel's silverware and he gets corset. So those are very early. Will you remember guys? Easy to remember actually if you know the early, it's everything you don't have to know. In the preface to which play, Victor Hugo declares that the hero represents the struggling and aspiring people who have the future but not the present. In the preface to which play, Victor Hugo declares this. Remember this play, Rai Blas. Rai Blas is a play by Victor Hugo. In Karnataka syllabus, Victor Hugo is prescribed. So read up on his works once again. Which among the following plays by Derek Walcott contains an epigraph from the preface of Franz Fanon's Wretched of the Earth? This they can ask. Sartre wrote the preface of Wretched of the Earth. Derek Walcott includes an ep excerpt as an epigraph. In which work Derek Walcott's which play contains an epigraph from Wretched of the Earth? It is Dream on Monkey Mountain. Dream on Monkey Mountain. Dream on Monkey Mountain is his famous work. Makak is the protagonist. M-A-K-A-K. -A -A Match the following characteristics with their respective characters in Vole Soinka's The Dance of the Forest. They go Vole Soinka's Dance of the Forest. It's a very major play that you should know. Which character has these features? Who is the prostitute? Once known as Madame Tortoise. Do you know who is the prostitute? It is Rola. Who is the court historian? In the time of Emperor Mata Karibu. It is Adenabi. A soothsayer is Agboreko. A carver is Dimoke. Major characters in a dance of the forest. Even if you know one of them, you will be able to answer. Did you understand, guys? So, Rola is a prostitute. She was once known as Madame Tortoise. Then she is a queen from her previous life. Will you remember? We have characters like Adenabi, Agboreko, and Dimoke. Please remember to look up. Now, what, who, what among the following things is not in the usual box of bush comforts of the white surveyor in the lion and the jewel? In the lion and the jewel, there is a white surveyor. He has a box of comforts carrying a soda siphon, a whiskey bottle, geometric sandwiches, but it does not have a prismatic compass. Just read extra, okay? I am just helping you 
to read extra. From all this, you can read extra and then you will remember more. Read Lion and the Jewel today itself. Which one among the following is not a poem included in Gabriel Okara's collection, The Fisherman's Invocation? Fisherman's Invocation is a collection by Gabriel Okara. The Little Bird is not a poem in this collection. Uh, little Bird. Have you heard the poem Little Bird? Now, look at me guys, this question, about which work did Shelley write? It is a highly wrought piece of art, perhaps better in point of composition than anything I have written. He said this about which work? It is a highly wrought piece of art. Better than anything that he has written, he said. He appreciated this work as his own best work. Which is that work? It is Adonai. He appreciated Adonai as a very good work. He said it's a highly wrought, means crafted work of art. Better than any other work. Keats, Hazlitt, Leyhand and Shelley were ridiculed as the Cockney school. What does the term Cockney School refer to? What is the meaning of Cockney School? Does Cockney School means mean that they wrote in Cockney dialect? They wrote with inferior aesthetics? Or does it mean they are middle class, suburban, metropolitan kind of writing? What is the meaning? One is the answer. He, Keats, Hazlitt and Shelley were ridiculed as Cockney school because they were not upper class. They were middle class, suburban, metropolitan. The story of Lamia, have you heard? Who wrote Lamia? Lamia is by Keats. From where is the story of Lamia taken? The story of Isabella is taken from Decameron. Lamia is taken from Burton's Anatomy of Melancholy. The story of Lamia. What is the story of Lamia? Who is Lamia? Lamia is a serpent. She is a snake in human form. Lamia is a snake in human form. It is in Burton's Anatomy of Melancholy. Story of Isabella is taken from, where is it taken from? Boccaccio's Decameron. Lamia is taken from Burton's Anatomy of Melancholy. Which place is described as glorious Eden by Byron in his child Harold's pilgrimage? Which place is described as glorious Eden in child Harold's pilgrimage? Glorious Eden. It is Sintra. Read extra today itself. Byron wrote Child Harold's Pilgrimage. And he talks about the place Sintra there. As Glorious Eden. Identify this collection of poetry by Lord Byron. Which was written uh, to be set to music by Isaac Nathan. Isaac Nathan actually wrote... Hebrew melodies. There Byron wrote poems. Byron's poems are included in Hebrew melodies. Will you remember Hebrew melodies? Isaac Nathan. It is uh, Byron. Uh, identify from the following. A children's book which is not written by Sylvia Plath. Are you know this na? The Room on the Roof is the story of Rusty. Story of Rusty by 
Ruskin bond. The room on the roof is by Ruskin bond. It is not by Sylvia Plath. Wuthering Heights by Sylvia Plath is a yo. Wuthering Heights she has written. Is it a novel, letter, poem, essay? Wuthering Heights by Sylvia Plath is a. Is it a novel, letter, poem? It is a poem. Wuthering Heights by Sylvia Plath is a poem by. Uh, it is Sylvia Plath's poem. What was Teddy's profession? In the homecoming by Pinter. He, is he a retired butcher? Is he a philosophy professor? Is he a pimp, a boxer? Teddy brings home his wife Ruth. From America. Where Teddy was a professor. Teddy was a philosophy professor. Will you remember? Then. More pricks than kicks by Samuel Beckett is a dash. More pricks than kicks by Samuel Beckett. What is it? More pricks than kicks by Samuel Beckett. It is a short story collection. It is an early short story collection. Will you remember? That is important. More pricks than kicks. How does the boy address Vladimir in... Waiting for Godo. Is it Mr. Albert, Didi, Mr. Man, Mr. Unknown? Bolo. The boy, the messenger boy addresses Vladimir in waiting for Godo as Mr. Albert. Mr. Albert is the name with which the boy calls Vladimir. The Rainbow by Lawrence. Tells the story of three generations of the Brangwen family. You know that, right? The Brangwens. What are they? Are they painters, farmers, dancers, chefs? What are they? You are preparing for MA? We had done MA entrance. Session. Will you please watch that session? Many people who are preparing for MA are actually attending my class. And they got rank also in JNU, DU, etc. They are farmers. What is their farm called? Their farm is called Marsh Farm. Marsh Farm. Marsh Farm and Willingdon Colliery are there in uh, the rainbow. The power and the glory was initially published in the United States under the name. What was the original title of Power and the Glory? Do you know guys? The original title of Power and the Glory? The Labyrinthine Ways. Power and the Glory was originally called The Labyrinthine Ways. Then, who among the following is not a character in Brighton Rock? Pinky, Dallow, Cubit. Remember, they are uh, criminals. They are a boy gang. But Marshall is not in Brighton Rock. They are a boy gang in Brighton Rock. Pinky Brown. You know that, right? It is a Catholic novel. Brighton Rock, The Power and the Glory, The Heart of the Matter, The End of the Affair. Now, tell me, arrange the following incidents chronologically. Winston meets Mr. Sharrington, the owner of Antique Shop. He buys a diary and writes criticisms of the party and Big Brother. O'Brien sends a copy of the theory and practice of oligarchical collectivism by Goldstein. 
Winston and Julia are captured and imprisoned at the Ministry of Love. This is last. D is last. So it is A, B, C, D. It is A, B, C, D. They are imprisoned last after all this. So first Winston Smith meets Mr. Sharrington. He buys a diary and writes criticism. O'Brien sends a copy of Emmanuel Goldstein's book. What is the name of the book? The Theory and Practice of Oligarchical Collectivism. Winston and Julia are captured at the end in Ministry of Love. In No Longer at Ease, Obi Okonkwo is charged for Dash. In No Longer at Ease, Obi Okonkwo is charged for is it murdering a white man, raping a white woman, taking a bribe, killing a white child? Obi Okonkwo had a lot of debt. He wanted to repay the loan and he spent a lot of money on his wife. And then he starts taking bribes. Correct, guys. Taking a bribe. In this poem, a doll for the child prostitute. Is it a poem? What, what is it? It is not a poem, I think. A doll for the child prostitute is a dash by Kamala Das. A doll for the child prostitute is a dash by Kamala Das. Bolo! Do you know, guys? Today is a very special day. 22 to 22. Did you write today's date anywhere? 22 to 22. <laughs> Hannah? A doll for the child prostitute is a short story by Kamala Das. You are right. For which collection was Nizim Esekil awarded the Sahitya Academy Award? Nizim Esekil got Sahitya Academy Award for Latter Day Psalms. He got Sahitya Academy Award for Latter Day Psalms. 22 0 22 <laughs> 22 0 22 0 22. Wow. Latter day Psalms. What is the subtitle of the play Nagamandala by Girish Karnad? The play Nagamandala by Girish Karnad. <laughs> a play with a cobra. A play with a cobra. Who is the first playwright in English to be awarded the Sahitya Academy Award? Namaste Hussain. First playwright in English to be awarded Sahitya Academy Award. In English, Mahesh Dattani for Final Solutions and Other Plays. Final Solutions. Which play by Vijay Tendulkar? First performed in 1981 has been described as one of the first modern plays dealing with lesbian themes. Which play by Vijay Tendulkar, first performed in 1981, is described as one of the first modern plays dealing with lesbian themes. It is a friend's story. A friend's story. Which novel by Thorudak? Published in 1878 after her death at the age of 21. Is a heartfelt work of romance. Dealing with a young girl mourning the loss of her beloved sister Ines. The novel is Bianca or the Young Spanish Maiden. Bianca is the novel by uh, Torudat. 
which among the following books by Amitav Ghosh? Sorry. Before that, name the novel by Amitav Ghosh in which the protagonist is the young marine biologist Piali Roy. That you know. Piali Roy is hunting for a very rare dolphin. Piali Roy is hunting for a very rare dolphin. Fokir, he meets, she meets. And now it is Hungry Tide. It is in the novel, The Hungry Tide. Which among the following books by Amitabh Ghosh is a verse adaptation of a medieval Bengali tale about the Sundarban's goddess, Bond Bibi. In Sundarban's there is a goddess, Bond Bibi. Bolo. It is Jungle Nama. Jungle Nama. It is a verse novel. Did you know that? More verse novel. Now, next question to you. Jungle Nama I am marking. Which is an ethnographic work? An ethnographic work written in narrative form by Amitav Ghosh. It is not a novel. It is an ethnographic work. About, ethnographic work about Egypt. Which is that book? Ethnographic work. It is in an antique land. In an antique land. Who among the following is R.K. Narayan's mentor and friend who was instrumental in getting publishers for Narayan's first four books? Narayan's first four books were published because of this man. Including the semi-autobiographical trilogy, Swami and Friends, Bachelor of Arts, English Teacher. Many of you would know it is Graham Greene. Graham Greene. Who is the protagonist of the financial expert? All of you know. Protagonist of financial expert. He sits under a banyan tree. He gives um, advice to people. It is Margaya. Margaya, na? The organized use of non-literary techniques. Are the organized use of non-literary techniques and bodies of knowledge. Wow, this is the definition of modern criticism. It is not possible to remember, but just. Modern Criticism. It is Stanley Edgar Hyman. Who authored The Foundations of Aesthetics? Do you, have you heard of that? The Foundations of Aesthetics. C.K. Ogden. C.K. Ogden was a friend of I.A. Richards. I.A. Richards and C.K. Ogden. Remember? The Meaning of Meaning. Who is the author of Archetypal Patterns in Poetry? A major work that applies the theories of Carl Jung to literature. Archetypal Patterns in Poetry. It is a very major book of myth criticism by Maud Bodkin. Maud Bodkin. Will you remember? Who among the following critics? Emphasizes the need of practical criticism as the fundamental requirement of a critic. Who said practical criticism is the fundamental requirement of a critic? You will think it is I.A. Richards. Will you please read extra on this? It is F.R. Leavis. Will you please read extra on this, guys? 
Read extra on this question. E. P. Thompson, a major theorist of the British New Left, is better known for his is best known for his historical work, The Making of the English Working Class. E.P. Thompson has published influential biographies of two eminent English writers. Do you know which are the writers whose biographies were published by E.P. Thompson? E.P. Thompson, remember? Richard Hogarth, E.P. Thompson, Raymond Williams are all important figures in CCCS of University of Birmingham, isn't it? He wrote the biographies of two Williams, William Morris, William Blake. E.P. Thompson wrote the biographies of William Morris, William Blake. Will you remember? A theorist commented on his 1981 essay, Notes on Deconstructing the Popular, that ordinary people are not cultural dopes. The theorist who wrote Notes on Deconstructing the Popular, he said ordinary people are not cultural dopes. Who is the critic? It is Stuart Hall. Very famous. Stuart Hall said this. Who coined the term historiographic metafiction in the 1980s? The term historiographic metafiction. It is Linda Hutchin. Historiographic metafiction is a term coined by Linda Hutchian. Hena? Linda Hutchian. Okay. So we have done 50 questions today. Did you like them, guys? I hope you liked them. I will post the questions in your group also. Thank you. Today we are starting a quiz for Karnataka Assistant Professor. Okay, quiz for Karnataka Assistant Professor, a model test series it is, in uh, online quiz it is. If you want, you can join. I will post the link in the description of the video and uh, you can WhatsApp me and you will get the link. For people who are doing my course, there is no need to pay. But who are not doing Karnataka Assistant Professor course, you can pay and join. It is only 250 rupees. Okay, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Join our Karnataka Assistant Professor quiz program. Model test program. Okay. Bye. See you.